One of the leading indigenous banks in Ghana, Cal Bank, has organized an event to engage its customers on how to further enhance their businesses, particularly at a time when the country is facing serious economic downturn. The event, which was aimed at educating small and medium enterprises, saw several business operators in the various sectors participating. In partnership with the Development Bank of Ghana, the event also sensitized the participants on the need to adopt modern technology in their businesses to effectively drive more benefits. Speaking to Orange Business News, the head of SME and business banking at Carbon, Daniel Apia, said the step was towards educating their customers better ways to effectively grow their businesses given the difficult economic climate. Carbon, for us, our focus has been on educating our customers. I mean, right now, when you look at products across the banking landscape, they are all the same for all the banks. But we need to add value to the business of our customers by looking at exactly what they do and how we can help them to do it better. So the motivation basically is helping our customers to be situated well, especially within this current economic climate, to be able to do better and to be able to grow their businesses better by sharing knowledge, what we have from the banking aspect for them. Mr. Pierre further noted that Carbank has also introduced new technologies to lessen the struggles of customers, including the Carbank mobile app, paperless system, and among others. He urged the public to patronize the bank since it's indigenous and gives customers excellent services. So, for instance, the Carbank app, everything is there to the extent that even now, as a businessman who has your business running with Carbank. You have a page more like your own website where you can advertise your goods to all carbon customers and they have access to it. That's one of the things. Two, when you walk into a carbon branch, you know it's paperless. Whereas when you're going to do a deposit in another bank, you have to fill a from carbon. It's a system you go, you type in your details, you print your receipt, you go, the teller captures it. Those are some of the technological things we are doing. Some business owners who participated in the event expressed appreciation to the bank for taking such measures to help them understand the current business environment for their businesses to thrive seamlessly. The managing director of Zamax Agro and Transport Services, Augustine Ketson, described the event as educative and that it will go a long way to help many young business owners to properly run their businesses. Fantastic. These are the things SMEs need. So for Cal Bank to initiate this, I think is the best. I mean, you can imagine being an entrepreneur and does not know even how to keep records. What steps you take? So the topics are fantastic, and I believe everybody here is for now well equipped to go and do the right thing. He said the unstable nature of the city against the major trading currencies, particularly the dollar, is taking a serious toll on their businesses and therefore one government to intervene. It's affecting businesses because at one point they said the dollar is down so we are happy. No, we don't need fluctuations. What we need is stability. Assuming at the time my remittance came, or oh, when I was doing my purchases, dollar was 14, and my remittance is back, and dollar has slammed to 10. When I change, yeah, instead of getting 14, I'm now getting 10. On his part, the chief executive officer of the Vastaline Company Limited, Anthony Aqua, said the event was very impactful and fulfilling as compared to the previous one. Today's program has been very impactful, comparatively at last year's own. It's good. I've learned a lot even as a CEO myself and uh, I got the opportunity to also share my experience with other CEOs and managing directors here. So it's been very impactful and I must say it's a good program. He indicated that the rising value of the dollar against the city is adversely affecting their businesses because it causes import duties to also increase. Especially with the, the rising of the dollar, because most of my stock I import. So, what has happened is you have to spend so much to get the stock and you can't also build the customer everything. So, it's made business a little slow for us because customer needs your products but he can't pay the high price and it's not your fault. The dollar has gone up so you also have to increase your prices. It's a bit unstable. Reporting for Orange Business News, I'm Fatal Baega, Kumasi.